You are about to hear another episode of The Deer Slayer, dramatized and directed by Charles Frederick Lindsley. Tom Hutter and Hurdy Harry, together with Deerslayer, have gone to the shore of the lake to find two canoes they have hidden in hollow logs. The woods are occupied by Indians on the warpath, and this is the only way to keep them from an immediate attack upon Hutter's house in the lake. The canoes are found and set adrift, and old Tom suddenly sights the embers of a campfire. He and Hurry decide to steal upon the encampment and take as many scouts as possible. They leave Deerslayer in the canoe and steal off into the darkness. All is quiet for a few moments, and then Deerslayer is startled by the rifles of his friends, the outbreak of angry voices, and old Hutter shouting to him, Keep off the land, lad! Keep off! The present episode takes place at Hutter's lake house. It is just before dawn. Deerslayer has not returned, and the two daughters, Judith and Hetty Hutter, are discussing their situation. It's almost dawn, and Father hasn't returned. Do you suppose those rifles we heard last night mean he's in trouble? I think not, Hetty. They're probably having difficulty in finding the canoes, and are still on the lake. Tell me, Jude, was it the canoe only Father wanted? I must be honest with you. They did go for the canoes, but Father and Harry also want scalps with which to collect the government bounty. Scalps? Oh, Judith, why should they kill people, especially women and children? They shouldn't, but they hide behind the fact that we are at war and that the Indians would do the same to us. Does dear Slayer want to take scalps, too? No, Hedden, no. If your mind were not weak, you could tell as much by his face. Dear Slayer has too honest a heart to take useless blood. He told Father and Hurry they shouldn't go on this mission. Do you like our new acquaintance, dear Slayer? He isn't handsome. Hurry is far handsomer than he. Well, that may be true, girl, but it's not everything to be handsome. I wish I was as handsome as you, Judith. Why so, poor child? One's beauty may cause her trouble. Hurry says that beauty's everything in a young woman. <laughs> oh, Hurry's like the officers from the garrison. He flatters. He's never sincere. You think dear Slayer is sincere? I haven't talked with him yet, but I believe he has a true wilderness heart. Plain... Simple and honest. Judith. Judith, I hear someone at the landing. Can it be... Shh. Stay away from the door, Heather. Keep quiet. It may be father. Listen. Judith. Heather. Oh, it's all right, Heather. It's Deerslayer. Oh, Deerslayer, are you alone? Where's father and, and hurry, Harry? Are they with you? Did you see the Indian? Did... Not so fast, girl. My story is long and not to be blurted out in a single yes or no. Shall I make a light? No. The ark must remain dark. The light will be coming up over the eastern ridge in half an hour. Sit down and I'll tell my story in a few words. It's bad news. Father! He's met with misfortune. And there's no use in concealing it. He and Hurry are in Mingo hands. And heaven only knows what's to be the termination. Did you find the canoes? No, that story's almost as bad as the other one about your father, Judith. Yes, we found the canoes, all right. And your father set them adrift thinking the night breeze would send them in this direction, and that they would be close at hand by morning. You can't mean you've lost them. No, it was too black to tell much of anything on the water. And I may be mistaken, but it's my judgment that the wind carried the canoes out of line with the ark here. And it's hard to say how far off they'd be now. Well, maybe when it's light, we may find them within a few yards of the ark. And again, we may find them drifted clean to the other shore. And if that's happened, we can expect a visit within a few hours. No, the situation is a desperate one, lass. And I would be dishonest not to inform you. But as soon as I can have a bite to eat, I'm going out to pick up the boats wherever they be. Unless the Redskins have already captured them. I shall go with you, dear No, girl. The Indians have rifles. And it's a dangerous mission, I tell you. Let her go, dear Slayer. 
Judith can paddle a canoe as well as a man. You may need her. But you shouldn't be left alone, Hetty. You needn't think of me. The Indians know that I have a weak mind. They've never offered me harm. She's right, friend. I could be of little value here if our enemies attack. And as Hetty says, she'll not be harmed in any case. This is a common law now, and I insist on going with you. I advise against it, Judith. But if you're determined... I'll get you some food, and you can start while it's still dark. We'll need dawn for our errand. But it'll be light in a few minutes now. And we'll soon know if the canoes are still afloat. the canoe for a while now, dear Slayer. You can search the other canoes. Is there any sign of them yet? They must be near the shore if they haven't been already picked up. But we'll soon know because we've covered every part of the lake except the south end here. If we find them, do you think we'll be safe until the soldiers from the fort come? <laughs> soldiers? Why, they may not hear of this affair for weeks. And by that time, the Redskins can build a dozen rafts. But for the present, we'll be safe. What can we do to rescue Father and Harry? I have no plan yet, Judith. Will the Mingos hold them captive? Or... I can't say, girl. They went out on an evil mission. And red men's neighbor ain't white man's. They may pay in kind. The Lord only knows. But surely we can do something. When Chingakook comes, we'll have a council. Perhaps the two of us can make a plan. Chingakook? Who's he? He's a young Delaware chief sent out by his tribe to report on these conditions. I'm the medium for the big rock tonight at sunset. Do you think this Delaware can be depended on, dear Slayer? As much as I can myself. You do trust me, Judith. You? I've known you but a few hours, but you have awakened the confidence of a year. Your name, though, was not unknown to me. The gallants of the garrison frequently speak of the lessons you've given them in hunting and shooting, and all proclaim your honesty. What's the English name of your Delaware friend? Big Serpent. So called for his wisdom and learning. Well, if he has this wisdom, we may expect a useful friend in him. Unless his own business in this part of the country should prevent him from serving us. I see no great harm in telling you of his errand. Chingakook is a comely Indian, and there's a chief that has a daughter called Watawa, the rarest gal among the Delawares. Chingakook fancied her, and she fancied him. But several weeks ago, Watawa went with her father and mother to fish salmon on the western streams. Chingakook lost sight of her. And then a runner brought a message that the girl had disappeared from her parents, that she had been stolen and was now with the Mingos and was to be married to one of the enemy. Well, how does this concern you, dear Slayer? It concerns me as all things that touches a friend concerns a friend. I'm here to help Chingakook get back his sweetheart. Look, dear Slayer, there's one of the canoes, yonder on that sunken rock about three yards from the shore. Good. Pull in close, Judith, and I'll pull it free. Look sharp, dear Slayer. There may be an ambush beyond. <laughs> Lie down on the canoe, Judith. You're right. But he missed us. And there's only one of them. And he'll have to reload. There he goes. In the bushes on the right. Quick, dear Slayer. Oh, I can't shoot an uncovered foe. Even if he is a red skin. Oh, but he's up there now reloading. You can take him before he has time to fire again. No, no. That may be a redskin warfare. But it's not a Christian gift. Land me on this rock and push back in the lake. I'll take this oak for protection and give him an even chance. This away, Redskin. This away if you're looking for me. It rests on you whether it's war or peace between us. I'm not one of them that thinks it's valiant to slay human mortals singly in the woods. That's right. Come down and talk it over. But mind that rifle. Mm. Two canoes. One for you, one for me. No, no. You own neither. And neither shall you have as long as I can prevent it. Go your way and leave me go mine. The world is large enough for us both, and when we meet fairly in battle, why, the Lord will order the fate of each of us. Good. Brother missionary, great talk. Not so. I'm only a hunter. My brother very young, but wise. Little warrior, great talker. Chief sometime in council. I'm only a hunter, I tell you. And I want my life to be a peaceful one. Old wisdom. Young tongue. My canoe, mine. Your canoe, yourn. Go. Look. 
If yours, you keep. If mine, I keep. That's just, Redskin. Come down to the shore and look. Good. There it is. Take a good look. Is it yours? No, mine. Pale face canoe. No want other man's canoe. Farewell, brother. You go back muskrat house in water. Injun go to camp. Tell chief no fine canoe. Goodbye, Mingo. <laughs> That's more reason than I expected out of an Iroquois. I'll push this canoe off, Judith, and we can go on. Look behind you, Dislayer. He hasn't gone. Aha. <laughs> uh-huh. Dear say I was too quick for you, Redskin. You're a poor shot with a rifle like most of your friends. But you have nothing to fear from me now. Water. Give Injun water. Water you shall have if you drink the lake dry. I'll carry you down to it. Uh, it would be sinful in me not to tell you your time hadn't come, warrior. You'll soon find the happy hunting grounds if you've been a just Injun. Good. Young head hold wisdom. Old Injun die. How Injun call white man? Deerslayer is the name I bear now. Uh, good name for boy. Poor name for warrior. No fear in white man's breast. Eyes hearten. Finger lightning. No more, dear slayer. Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Uh, Hawkeye. Is he dead, dear slayer? I didn't want to take his life. But he left me no choice between killing and being killed. But we'll have to find that other canoe at once, Judith. This man will be found by his friends at any minute... And their fury will drive them to Muskrat Castle in another hour. <laughs> <laughs> 